Good everyone, what we're going to do in this lesson is create an animated GIF from a series of four photographs with using Adobe Photoshop and we're going to use it on a, um, on a Wix website. So the Wix template I'm going to use is uh, in photography and it's the wedding photography one here that we're going to choose to edit and we're going to scroll down and we're going to replace this image here with our animated GIF. Uh, so let's jump into Photoshop. And first of all, we're going to create a new document and let's choose our web preset. Let's uh, untick artboards and let's give it a width of 300 pixels by 450 pixels and let's click create. Okay, and there's our document there. Kimmy and Plus will zoom in. Now, we've got four images that we want to put into our document as layers and a quick way to do that is if we go to file and we go to scripts and we go to load files into stack okay and um, we can use files it should be the default there click on browse and find the photographs that you want to use and select them all click open it's going to load them into our stack and then click ok all right now this is going to load them onto uh, a separate document so what we want to do is we want to move these over to our main document here. So if we have the first layer selected and we hold shift and click the bottom layer, it will select them all. And if we click hold and drag and go up to the tab up here, and I'm still holding my mouse down and then I let go, you can see that all my images have now come in here and we can close this one off and we don't need to save that. Now, you'll notice we've got a background layer which we don't need. Let's click, hold and drag and trash that. We can hit delete on the keyboard. Um, now, the next thing is we want to resize these images individually. Now, I'm just going to use the eye, the hider, eyeball hider there just so that we can work on one layer at a time. All right, make sure your move tool is selected and we just want to kind of get the rings as the focus here. Now, we might zoom out with command minus um, because these images are larger than the size of our canvas and if we hold command and press T that will give us our free transform controls and um, if we just grab the corner or the side and click hold and drag we can resize these images um, that looks pretty good now if we hide this layer and show the next one we can now um, work on it now just make sure that you've actually got the layer selected before you start moving it because if you don't you'll select you'll start moving the layer below it so select this layer here and let's move this down there's our ring and if we want to resize it command T will free transform um, and we can position this how we like it once you're happy you can hit the tick up there or press return or enter all right show the next layer select it and drag it down I'm not going to touch anything with that one. I'm going to leave it as is. Hide that layer, select the next layer and show it. And Command T again to free transform. And grab your corners and position this. There we'll do. All right, now what we want to do is we want to create an animation out of these layers here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get a window and we want to activate our timeline. All right, this will bring up our animation controls in Photoshop. So um, you'll notice you've got a button here, create frame animation. Make sure that frame animation is selected and not video. Okay, so frame by frame animation and click the button there to create it. Okay, now uh, the last thing to do here is to go to your hamburger menu just here, click it once and then choose make frames from layers. Okay, and that's gonna turn each of our layers into a frame on our timeline. And if we click the, you've got your play control buttons here. If we click play, you can see that it's now um, animating. Uh, let's zoom in with command plus so we can see a little, little bit better. Now it's happening really quickly. So what you can do is we can select the first one and if we hold shift and click the last one, um, and then with them all selected, if we click the little down arrow here, we can um, play around with the delay in how long each frame takes to play. Um, I'm going to set it at one second and press play. You can see now that each photograph uh, changes or frame changes after one second's played. Okay, you can muck around, you can muck around with other settings that if you want to, like this will loop it forever or three times or just once, we'll leave it on forever. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's stop that and let's get a file and let's export. 
let's save this for the web. Now in the save for web dialog box, we want to make sure that we've got GIF selected as that will support animation. Um, there are a few settings here. Uh, for example, we've got 256 colors per pixel and you can see the color table there. Um, um, we don't have to worry too much about anything here. We can preview it in the web browser if you like. There it is there, that looks pretty good. Um, also, um, we could change the size of it here. Looping options, uh, we we're going to leave it forever. Um, if you only wanted to, to loop once or play once, you could choose that, for example. Okay, save it. Okay, I've already saved mine. And let's go back over to our Wix um, template here. I'm going to just click this image and delete it. And I'm going to add in one by going to add image. Let's go to my image uploads. And there it is there. Add it to the page and push it across to the middle somewhere like that. I could also resize it or whatever, but well, we're going to leave it like that. Click preview. And if we scroll up and down, there we have our animated GIF from photographs.